Hi, crafty friends. Mary here. It's March, a new month, and a new hashtags. We're working with bunnies of March this time, and I have two cards to share with you today. Um, these were made last year for uh, Easter, and um, I they didn't get it sent out. Um, none of my Easter cards made it out last year, um, but um, I'm using this uh, hashtag. Um, as a way to uh, stock up on Easter cards and hopefully send them out for sure this year. So let me um, show you these two cards. They're, in my opinion, very cute, and I hopefully you will consider that as well. Okay, here we go. The die that I used is this um, Peekaboo Bunny by uh, Poppy Stamps, uh, and the model is $21.91. Um, I have had it in my collection for a couple years now, maybe two years, um, um, and it's uh, copyright uh, 2019, but it's a really cute stamp. This is the first card that I made with it. It's a very simple card in design and in, in execution too. It didn't take a lot. Uh, basically, it's an A2 size card, top uh, folding. Um, I die cut a piece of pattern paper pale yellow with white flowers um and um the die cut piece uh i used a rectangle uh piercing uh die cut from uh kate scrappiness i believe is the die cut um and then i mm, die cut six pieces six of the of the bunny and I made a grid on my card, placed them on a, on a grid, and just very, with a very light pink and a very light blue, um, added a little bit of detail to the ears and the eyes and the nose on my little bunnies. Like I said, very simple card, but I think it came out really cute. And um, this is one card you could definitely mass produce really quickly and uh, very easily and you could change the background paper from a very pale yellow to a very pale pink blue green and you could have a really nice set of cards really easy and this this is um I can't I'm sorry I don't remember what pad this paper was from but I believe it was an Easter pad because looking at the pay uh, the paper right now there's little bunnies in here and little um no, it doesn't have little chicks or anything like that, but it does have little bunnies, uh, little bunnies in the pa in the pa in the paper pad or duh, in the pattern. So I th I believe this probably was from an Easter pad, um, but um, having this card was made last year and um, I I didn't write it down anywhere. So, um, but um, I'm sure you could rec recreate this card without any. Um, trouble using any kind of paper but once again very simple very quick to make um i can probably tell you that the what took me the longest was probably gluing those little things down because um since i use the positive these are very thin frames so you have to be kind of a little bit uh careful as to how you glue them down to maintain the square so that your little frames don't go out of whack when you're gluing them down and normally I go with dry glue, um, but in this case I did go with uh, um, just regular white glue, you know, like Tombow or something like that. I think it's just easier. So um, that's my first card. The second card is one of my favorite cards because it's just colorful and it just it's, it says spring to me and it makes me happy. This is the second card. Um, like I said, it's just it's just a happy card. Um, once again, I used uh, pattern paper. This one is polka dots in many colors, and this one, instead of being shy of A2, it, I took it all the way to the to the A2 size, to the border of the card. Also, a top folding A2 card. Um, and this one, I used a MFT stitch rectangle die um, to, to, to die cut the um, the top uh, pattern paper. Um, in this in this card. My bunnies, I used um, both the negative and the positive of the die. So I, I used all the whole the whole die. Um, I um, when I die cut it, 
and I'll show you in, in here, I'll show you with the die. Let's take it out. So here's the die. And when you die cut it, there's another piece in here, and there should be another piece. Yeah. So you can see. When you die cut it, you get two. You get a positive, the bunny, around the frame, and the negative, right? So I took this piece on all of them, and I used um, Distress Oxide and inked them in their respective colors. And then I put them back on on so I put them back into position right and then and this one's missing the inner ear but and then I turned them around and just used a little bit of masking tape on the back to hold them in place before adding a little bit of dimensional adhesive on the back to pop them up and then um, what I did was the the five bunnies surrounding the blue bunny, they're only lifted once. But the middle bunny is sitting on four of the other bunnies, so he's lifted slightly higher. So he's kind of resting on these four bunnies. So he has a little bit more dimensional adhesive on him. And um, I color coordinated the inside of the bunny ears to match the outer uh the outer portion of the die um, and um, and that's it very easy also very quick um, but um, it just this car makes me happy it's just really cute and um, I mean it's just a way to use a small die to get kind of a bigger impact on a card because um, it's it is a small die it measures does it, is there a measurement on the on this uh, oh, it says here it's uh, 1.3 by 1.4 inches. So it is a small die, uh, but if you group it or if you use a grid, you're, it's going to give you a bigger impact on a card. So, and then um, I used a combination of store bought uh, dots or enamel dots and, um, and nouveau dots, the ones that are perfectly circled, perfectly formed are the store-bought ones and the ones that are not. They look like, you know, something from a reject. Um, because I cannot, for the life of me, get these Nouveau drops to form really nice circles. I'm almost giving up on them. Um, yeah, those are the ones that I are handmade. So I just did a whole bunch of different colors all array around it. So really cute, two really cute cards using a really cute... Um, dye and some pattern paper thanks for tuning in to my first car share for bunnies of march until next time take care bye